so let me see well I bring home the bacon I make the money in the house I make the rules that don't make you the man of the house So you probably sitting there asking me, well, since you keep saying all this, what makes a man of the house? Makes you the man of the house? A, you're only going to be, I'm, I'm going to break it to you like this. You're only going to be the man of a house if you were bred, brought up, and raised with the, the correct leadership qualities it takes to lead a family unit. That's what makes the man of a house. The leader of the unit. The ability to lead this unit. To secure this unit. To make sure every angle is cut for this unit. To be able to sacrifice whatever it is you need to sacrifice for that unit. To not look at your, your counterpart as less than, but as equal, an equal driving force in that unit. Don't look at your children as what's been defined as what a child is, but know that is just a miniature person that you're bringing into knowing. So bring them into knowing correctly. So that their chances to brush off the bullshit they're going to encounter is increased. That's what the man of a house is. See, the man in the house, he believed that he get up, punch a clock. You know what I'm saying? He come home, drink his little brew, sleep with his woman, maybe take care of the kids, feed the dog, work in the yard, wave at the neighbors. He the man in the house. Nope. Know why? You're not the man of the house. You're not building shit and preparing no one in the house for better than what you're being exposed to daily. So what you're teaching your wife, what she's teaching you, and what you both are teaching the kids is that this is the script. You grow up, you go to school, you get a job, and you do the same shit we did, hoping to maybe get a break. Everybody, because you know, us as uh, what people would like to call minority, or that grew up in neighborhoods that later was called hoods, you know, they like to say, uh, it's almost a crab in a bucket mentality for real. Like it's deeper than just, how you talk about it on the street level, how everybody want to talk this street talk and outside talk. But let's get back into that house first. Because that mentality is 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 molded inside the home. Because I've grown to to have been in conversations where I've listened to some of the elders when we were growing up say things that it didn't really register until later and you got older and you could put it in perspective. You know what I'm saying? So what you will come to find out is that I'm not saying this is applied for all family, but for the majority of family, let's get it straight and let's be for real. The majority of your family don't really want you to be more successful than them. You'll start to see the jealousies. So I get when you start to move ahead why the separation is necessary. See, when you become the man of the house, your unit is moving as such. If you have to cut off family, friends, whoever you thought was whatever you thought they were because you find out that they're not beneficial for the betterment of the future that you're trying to build, then pull your fucking balls up and quit being a girl and cut them off. But you don't. See, y'all like, cut off. You know what people do? They'll cut off the ones that they shouldn't have cut off because of the intimidation, 
or the pressure it takes for them to become great. See, when, you, when you're becoming and you start to be around people that are, because that's the only way it is. That's the only way that you, you get ahead. Like you're not going to get out the hood being in the hood all day, every day. That just don't even sound smart. So if you're not relocating throughout the day, and I'm not talking about, oh, you drove out to this suburb, or you drove out to this mall, or you drove up, uh, out to this sub-city. No. You have to experience where you're going. So if you don't go there and then engage people and interact and network, then you driving out there didn't mean shit. You ain't learned shit. Quit being scared to talk to people. Quit being, look, I know niggas who sit around, though, and niggas do this a lot. Niggas is phony and fake as fuck. Niggas sit around and tell you, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's why I don't even talk to people. Then you get around the, the enemy, the, you know, the uh, the enemy, whoever y'all want to place as y'all enemy in this particular context. And they all, they all spill their fucking life story. But to talk to you, who they call, they bro, they friend, they nigga, they could. That's telling you my business. Nigga, you ain't got no business. You work for somebody or you don't even work. You might hustle. But what I'm saying is, Transparency and the ability to talk to people and correspond without the illusion. Because it's easy to walk around as if, you know what I'm saying? As if you're doing all these things. As if this is how you operate for real. But to those who do this, know that if we're not bumping to you in the. In t listen, what I mean. Let me give you an example. Like as many people as you know sit around and want to talk that intellectual talk, want to talk that oh I know this or I, I'm hip to that book or I'm hip to so and so I I seen them them on YouTube before. Let me tell you something. That's the bullshit. Because if I don't see you at the lectures when these people come to town, what are you, what are you talking about? You don't be doing this. If I don't see you in these streets when we out here serving these homeless people and people that are in need. What are you talking about? You don't do this shit. If I don't bump into you at elementary schools when I'm out reading to kids or doing whatever, you don't do that shit. If I don't see you when I walk through the hood standing talking to elders and giving them information that's going on and receiving feedback, then you don't do that. So you can clearly see you regular. Because you ain't doing nothing. How do I be the man of the house when I got kids in the house? Because when you take the kids to school, how many of y'all dudes right now know your, your, uh, your child's teacher's name? First and last. How many of you have been able to obtain a more personal phone number so that you can have direct dialogue? When personal things are going on with the child and you want to correspond with this teacher personally so to make sure that the child don't miss the, uh, the, the, the necessary things due to whatever this situation is that could be causing a block. How many of y'all fellas just go up to the school just to make your presence known just so that the the establishment and the institution see that oh yeah there is a, a man around an educated man around this child you ain't doing none of that you ain't the man of the house you a man in a house 
How many of you sit around right now with a book sitting here? Not a novel of, of, of some smut shit. Just some good information, and it's just on GP sitting there to read whenever. You ain't doing that. See, books cost too much for y'all. So y'all say, it'd be the same nigga go buy a video game system before he go buy three essential books that can fix his mind. He'll go get some Jordans before he purchase a, 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 another brother's literature and information that's feeding his family. But it's also because he bought this these things, it's helping him. Stop playing with y'all selves. Y'all ain't the man of the house. Y'all some, some men in houses. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome to the strip, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Coffee Talk app, man. Support the channel. Cash app.